GT3 RS, the most extreme road-going 911. And now we have a new version. This time, Porsche are trying to distance the regular GT3 and the RS version, meaning that although we've still got the plexiglass rear window and the wide body like before, with this one, we've got more power from the engine, 15 horsepower from a revised induction kit and a higher compression ratio. We also get a titanium exhaust and the dynamic engine mounts as standard. Now, around the front, for the first time on GT3, we've got a wider track, not only at the rear, but at the front with these wing extensions. Now, all of that, I'm sure, is going to make the GT3 RS an even more accomplished track car. Question is, is it now too extreme to use on the road? <laughs> To get an idea what we're talking about with this new GT3 RS, consider this. Around the Nürburgring, it's seven seconds a lap quicker than the regular GT3. Now some of that will come from the wider track and extra poke, but also because the RS weighs less. Now it would be difficult to categorically say without driving the regular 3 and the RS back to back, but from where I'm sat today, I reckon you really can tell the effect of that weight saving through the way the car drives and particularly through the steering. Now the RS engine gets the same torque as the regular GT3 but it is produced at a higher RPM so you have to work a little bit harder to get the performance but that is not a chore at all because this engine is just sensational when it gets up beyond 5,000 revs. It just zips around to the red line and in this version it's just that little bit more punchy at the top end. Personally, I think this is one of the best sounding cars on the market and there are two reasons why this is actually even better than the regular GT3 and the first is that rear window, you just got more noise coming through but also the engine in this version has got a single mass flywheel which means not only more volume but a more intricate engine note big improvement of the RS is the gearbox. The same feel, but you've got slightly shorter ratios, which for road use actually makes much more sense. There's some sacrifice in top end speed, but I mean, who cares about that? Overall, the biggest difference with the new RS comes from that wider front track. In road driving, you've just got a little bit more confidence in the turn in, and if you're pushing it, there's actually a better balance and grip between front Rear. So can you use it as a road car? Well you have to be in the right frame of mind because it is quite noisy and if you go without the aircon it's going to get hot but the ride comfort actually isn't that bad. So is it worth paying the extra for the RS? There's two ways of looking at it. This is certainly better than the regular GT3 but it's probably not 20 grand better. But when you consider rivals like Gallo Superleggera, Scuderia, and even the GT2, at £104,000, you've got to conclude it's somewhat of a bargain. 